Say goodbye to sleepless nights. 20 quick tips for better sleep. Getting enough sleep is very important. It makes you feel good and helps your body and mind work well. Some people find it easy to go to sleep. But many people have a hard time falling asleep and staying asleep all night. Lack of sleep can hurt many parts of your body and brain, including your ability to learn your memory, your mood, your emotions, and many other biological functions. Here are 20 easy ways to get to sleep as quickly as possible. Number 1. Reduce the temperature. As you fall asleep your body heat changes. When you lie down your body cools down and when you get up it warms up. If your room is too hot it might be hard for you to fall asleep. Setting your thermostat to between 15.6 to 19.4 degrees Celsius could help. People have different tastes so find the temperature that you like best. Getting into a warm bath or shower could also help the body's temperature change more quickly. Afterward when your body cools down it can tell your brain that it's time to go to sleep. One review of the research found that taking a hot bath or shower before bed could improve things like how well you sleep. Sleep efficiency is how much time you spend sleeping in a bed instead of just lying there awake. People who took showers or baths between 40.0 degrees Celsius and 42.5 degrees Celsius 1 to 2 hours before bedtime felt better. Even if they only took a 10 minute bath or shower they said it helped them sleep better. There needs to be more research but these results are encouraging. Number 2 Use the 4, 7, 8 breathing technique. Dr. Andrew Weil created the 4, 7, 8 method. It is a simple but powerful way to breathe that helps you feel calm and relaxed. It could also help you relax before going to bed. It's based on yoga techniques for controlling your breath and it's a way of breathing that calms your nervous system. It is something you can do whenever you feel worried or stressed. Here's how to do it. Number 1 First put the tip of your tongue behind your upper front teeth. Number 2 Make a whoosh sound as you let your breath out through your mouth. Number 3 Close your mouth breathe in through your nose and count to 4 in your mind. Number 4 Hold your breath and count to 7 in your mind. Number 5 Open your mouth and let out all of your air while making a whoosh sound and counting to 8 in your head. Number 6 At least 3 more times repeat this cycle. This method can help you calm down and get to sleep quickly. Number 3 Make a schedule. Many people find that sticking to a sleep schedule makes it easier to fall asleep. The circadian rhythm is your body's regulatory system. This internal clock signals to your body that it should be alert during the day but sleepy at night. Your internal clock can keep a regular schedule if you wake up and go to bed at the same time every day. Once your body gets used to this schedule it will be easier to go to sleep and wake up at the same time every day. Also you should sleep for 7 to 9 hours every night. This is the best amount of time for an adult to sleep. Lastly give yourself 30 to 45 minutes to relax before going to bed at night. This lets your mind and body calm down and get ready for sleep. Number 4 Feel both daylight and darkness. The internal clock in your body which controls when you sleep and wake up can be affected by light. If you are exposed to light at odd times it can mess up your circadian rhythms. This makes it harder to fall asleep and stay awake. When you're awake during the day bright light tells your body to stay awake. This is true for both natural light and artificial light like the kind that comes from an e-reader. Nighttime darkness makes people feel sleepy. In fact research shows that night produces more melatonin which is a hormone that helps you sleep. During the day the body doesn't make very much melatonin. Get out of the house and expose your body to sunlight or bright lights all day long. Use blackout curtains if you can so that your room is dark at night. Number 5 Try yoga, meditation, and being present. People have a hard time falling asleep when they are stressed out. Yoga, meditation and being aware of the present moment are all ways to relax the mind and body. Also they have all been shown to help people sleep better. Yoga teaches you how to breathe and move your body in ways that help you get rid of stress and tension that has built up in your body. Research shows that yoga can help with things like the quality of sleep, how well it works and how long it lasts. 
Meditation can raise melatonin levels and help the brain get into a state that makes it easier to fall asleep. Lastly mindfulness may help you stay in the present worry less before bed and even work better during the day. You can get a good night's sleep and feel refreshed when you wake up if you try one or all of these things. Number 6 Don't look at the time. The middle of the night is a normal time to wake up. But if you can't fall back asleep it can ruin a good night's sleep. When people wake up in the middle of the night they often look at the clock and worry about not being able to go back to sleep. People who have trouble sleeping often watch the clock. This behavior might make you worry about not being able to sleep. Even worse if you wake up often and can't go back to sleep your body may start to follow a pattern. Because of this you might wake up every night in the middle of the night. If you can it would be best to get rid of the clock in your room. If you need an alarm clock you can turn the clock so you don't have to look at it when you wake up in the middle of the night. Number 7 Avoid taking naps during the day. People with insomnia often feel tired during the day because they don't get enough sleep at night. This makes it easy for them to take naps during the day. Short naps have been linked to better alertness and feelings of well-being. Still people have different ideas about how they affect sleep at night. Some studies have shown that taking regular naps that are at least two hours long and late can make it hard to sleep at night or even make you sleep less. In a study of 440 college students those who said they took three or more naps per week napped for more than two hours or rested between 6 and 9 p.m. had the worst nighttime sleep quality. In 1996 researchers found that older people who napped often had worse nighttime sleep more signs of depression and less physical activity. They were also more likely to be overweight than people who didn't nap as often. A recent study of high school students found that daytime naps led to less sleep and less effective sleep. Other studies have shown that naps don't change how you sleep at night. Try going without naps or only taking short ones 30 minutes or less early in the day to see if they are making it hard for you to sleep. Number 8 Keep an eye on what and when you eat. It looks like what you eat before bed might affect how well you sleep. For example studies have shown that eating a lot of carbs may make it harder to get a good night's sleep. A review of studies found that eating a lot of carbs might help you fall asleep faster but you won't sleep well. Instead eating a lot of fat could help you sleep better and longer. In fact both older and more recent studies agree that a high carb makes sleep much worse than a low carb. This was true when both the high carb and the low carb diets had the same number of calories. If you must have a high carb meal for the evening do it at least 4 hours before bedtime so your body has time to digest it. Number 9 Listen to soothing music. Music can make a big difference in how well you sleep. It can even be used to help people with long-term sleep problems like insomnia sleep better. A study of 24 young adults showed that calming music helped them sleep better. Listening to Buddhist music may also help you sleep better because it can make it easier for you to fall asleep. This parameter is called start of sleep. Different Buddhist chants are used to make Buddhist music which is used to help people meditate. Another study with 50 people found that those who listened to relaxing music for 45 minutes before bed slept better and deeper than those who didn't. Lastly if you can't listen to relaxing music blocking out all noise could also help you fall asleep faster and sleep better. Number 10 Try to work out during the day. Physical activity is often thought to help people sleep better. Exercise can improve the length and quality of sleep by making the brain produce more serotonin and less cortisol which is a stress hormone. But it's important to keep up with a moderate exercise routine and not do too much. Poor sleep has been linked to training too much. The time of day you work out is also important. Working out in the morning seems to be better than working out later in the day if you want to get a better night's sleep. So getting moderate to vigorous exercise in the morning could make a big difference in how well and how much you sleep. Move around with things like running, hiking, cycling, Tennis. Hash 11 Get settled in. The depth and quality of sleep can be greatly improved by a comfortable mattress and bedding. A medium firm mattress has been shown to improve the quality of sleep and stop sleep problems and muscle pain. It also matters a lot how good your pillow is. 
It can have an effect on the following. Neck curve. Temperature. Comfort. One small study found that orthopedic pillows may be better than feather or memory foam pillows for getting a good night's sleep. Also using a weighted blanket could help your body feel less stressed and help you sleep better. Lastly the material of your bedtime clothes can affect how well you sleep. It's important to wear comfortable clothes made of materials that help you stay at a comfortable temperature all night. Hash 12 Switch off all electronic devices. It's bad for sleep to use electronics late at night. It can be much harder to fall asleep and stay asleep if you watch TV, play video games, talk on the phone, or use social networking sites. Part of the reason for this is that electronic devices give off blue light which has been shown to stop the body from making melatonin. Using these things also keeps your mind active and involved. It's best to turn off all electronics and put computers and cell phones away so that you can have a place that is quiet and free of distractions. If you take care of your sleep you'll be able to fall asleep much faster. If you have to use your devices late at night at least think about getting glasses or a screen filter to block the blue light. You can buy glasses that block blue light or a screen filter that does the same thing. Hash 13 Consider Aromatherapy in aromatherapy oils called essential oils are used. People who have trouble falling asleep often do it because it may help them calm down. A systematic review of 12 studies showed that aromatherapy works to improve the quality of sleep. Some popular smells that help people sleep are. Lavender. Damask rose. Peppermint. Blends of oils made with ingredients like lemon and orange also helped people sleep better. Even though there are many ways to use essential oils many sleep studies focus on how they smell when inhaled. With an essential oil diffuser you could fill your room with scents that help you relax and get to sleep. Hash 14 Before going to bed, practice writing. Some people have trouble sleeping because their thoughts keep going around and around. Research has shown that this can cause worry and stress which can make people feel bad and keep them from sleeping. Writing in a journal and focusing on good things can help you calm down and sleep better. Writing down the good things that happened during the day or that might happen in the future can make you feel grateful and happy make stressful things seem less important and help you relax before bed. In fact a study of 41 college students found that writing in a journal helped them feel less worried and stressed before bed, sleep longer, and sleep better. Set aside 15 minutes every night to write about your day and try this method. It's important to think about not only the good things that happened that day but also how you felt. Another study found that making a list of things to do even if it was only for 5 minutes helped young adults fall asleep faster than journaling. Hash 15 Reduce your caffeine intake and replace it with a relaxing beverage. Caffeine is often used to fight fatigue and make people more alert. It can be found in these foods and drinks. Chocolate. Coffee. Sodas. Energy drinks. This stimulant can make it hard to fall asleep and keep you asleep for a long time. Even though caffeine has different effects on different people it's best to stay away from it at least 6 hours before bedtime. You could instead drink something soothing like chamomile tea. It has been shown to help people fall asleep and relax. Passion flower and magnolia teas can also help you sleep when you drink them before bed. Hash 16 Change your sleeping position. How well you sleep at night may depend on how you lie down. There are three main ways to sleep back, stomach, side. People used to think that people who slept on their backs got better sleep. Research has shown, though, that this might not be the best way to sleep because it could lead to snoring, blocked airways, and sleep apnea. Even though personal preferences are a big part of deciding where to sleep the side position seems to be linked to good sleep. Number 17 Read a book. Reading could be a good way to calm down before going to bed. At least for kids it seems like reading before bed may help them sleep longer. But it's important to know how reading an e-book is different from reading a traditional paper book. 
Melatonin production is slowed down by blue light which is given off by electronic books. When you don't have enough melatonin it's harder to fall asleep and you feel tired the next day. So if you want to relax and get a better night's sleep it's best to read a real book. Number 18 Try to keep your mind on staying awake. People think that your chances of falling asleep if you go to bed and try to force yourself to do so drop by a lot. Instead you can try paradoxical intention. Instead of forcing yourself to sleep you try to stay awake with this method. It's based on the idea that forcing yourself to sleep can cause stress and anxiety that can keep you from being able to relax and fall asleep. In the end the research is mixed but some studies have shown that this method helps people fall asleep faster. Number 19 Think about what makes you happy. Instead of worrying and stressing out while you're in bed picture a place that makes you happy and calm. In one study on insomnia people who were told to use an imagery distraction were able to fall asleep faster. Using this method they were able to think of good things before going to sleep instead of worrying or worrying about things. Thoughts that keep you up at night can be pushed out of your mind by picturing and focusing on a place that makes you feel calm and peaceful. Hash 20 Try supplements that help you sleep. Some supplements can help you get to sleep more quickly. They have been shown to help people sleep either by making more hormones that help them sleep or by slowing down brain activity. These are some supplements that can help you fall asleep. Magnesium, it helps turn on the chemicals in the brain that make you sleepy. Doses of up to 500 mg per day have been shown to help people sleep better. It needs to be taken with a meal. 5-HTP, the amino acid 5-HTP makes more serotonin which has been linked to controlling sleep. It seems to work to treat insomnia if you take up to 600 mg per day either all at once or in two or more doses. Melatonin, is a hormone that your body makes on its own but you can also take it as a supplement to help you sleep. If you take 0.5 to 5 mg 2 hours before you want to go to bed which for most people is between 8 and 9 pm it might help you sleep better. L-theanine, it is an amino acid that makes you sleepy. Even though it hasn't been shown to help people fall asleep it might help them relax. 400 mg per day seems to be a good amount. Gamma aminobutyric acid, it is a chemical that the brain makes. It stops some transmitters from working which may help the central nervous system calm down. The recommended doses are 250 to 500 mg and no more than 1000 mg. Not only is it frustrating to have trouble falling asleep and staying asleep but it can also hurt your mental and physical health. Using the above techniques can help you fall asleep quickly, sleep better, and wake up with more energy. Thanks for joining me on this topic. If you enjoyed this video don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Before you go I want to leave you with a question to ponder. What's one thing you can do today to make someone else's day brighter? Let me know your answer in the comments below and let's spread positivity together. And as always stay curious, stay creative and I'll see you in the next video.